In this section of the video, I'm going to be showing how to create a fluid model in WinProp. So the first step is to open CMG Launcher and then click on WinProp to open. So scroll to the bottom and then click on WinProp to open. Okay. Uh, when you open WinProp, the first thing you want to do is you want to save. So you go to File, Save, and I'm just going to name this, I'm going to save on my desktop, and I'm going to name it uh, Fluid Model, Save. And then under Title, I'm going to name it Fluid Model as well. You want make sure your equation of state is set to Hank Robinson 1978. Make sure your, your units are in feed units and your feed is in mold. Next, you're going to go to the component selection tab. So on your left, you click on component selection. Okay, so when we go to components, I'm going to go to viscosity. I'm going to click on viscosity on top. I'm going to change our viscosity model to Pedersen corresponding state model. And then apply changes. Okay. And then I'm going to click on component selection properties again. And I'm going to go back to components on top. And then we want to add all the components we have in our Excel uh, data file. So if you go to the Excel file, you're going to see that you have a list of about 20, 27 or 28 components. We're going to add all of these to our WinProp fluid model. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add um, the components that WinProp already has. So if you go to INS LIB, so this means insert from library. And then INS own is insert own. So this is where you go to insert any components that are not in the library. So I'm going to go to insert library. And then if you go back to your Excel file, you're going to see that we have CO2, nitrogen, and methane. So I'm going to add those first of all. So we had CO2, so to add CO2, I'm going to select CO2 and click on this arrow to, to choose CO2. We also had nitrogen, we had methane and we had ethane. So I'm going to select um, I'm going to select three of them and I'm going to move them to the right. Um, next we have we have propane, we have ibutane, n-butane, i and n-pentane. So I'm going to select those as well. So we had propane we had I butane, M butane, I pentane, and N pentane. So I'm going to select all of those and I'm going to move them to the right. After those, we had we had C6 to C23. So I'm going to add C6 to C23. So select select C6 and then all the way to C23 and move to the right. Now I'm going to click on OK and all our components have been added except from C24 plus. Since this isn't just C24, it's C24 plus, I'm going to have to insert this manually. So back to WinProp, I'm going to click on Insert On. I'm going to name our component C24 plus. And then to define our own component, we need to enter, we need to enter 
at least two of the following three properties molecular weight specific gravity and boiling point our table gives us specific gravity and molecular weight so those are the two i'm gonna use molecular weight is 550 i'm gonna insert 550 to into the table for molecular weight 550 and our specific gravity is 0 0.92 so i'm gonna go back to my table and insert 0 0.92 and I'm going to click on OK. I want to move this to the end of our list. So you select the row that it's on. And then you move it down with this arrow all the way to the bottom. Next, I'm going to click on Apply Changes. Apply Changes. OK. The next step is to determine the composition of each component. On the left menu bar, I'm going to select composition. And then now I'm just going to copy and paste compositions from the Excel file. So Ctrl C and then paste. So now we've determined our components and we've determined the composition of each component. I'm going to save the file. Uh, the next step is to do a regression to match the experimental data that we have. So if you go to your Excel spreadsheet, there's a tab called Differential Libration Test. So basically, this test has given us a couple of properties that were determined from an experiment. So we're going to use regression to match our model to these experimental results. So in WinProp, I'm going to right click on composition. I'm going to select add after. I'm going to go to characterization. And then I'm going to select Start Regression. So again, it's right click on Composition, Add After, Characterization, Start Regression. Under Regression, I'm going to, again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to select Add Into Regression Block. I'm going to choose Lab because it's a lab experiment that we have. And I'm going to choose differential libration. So now we have a table that has similar um, parameters to what we have in our Excel table. I'm just going to copy and paste our pressures to the WinProp table under pressure. And then I'm going to copy and paste all formation volume factor from our table. So that's this column. I'm going to paste over here. Next column is gas oil ratio. So back to our Excel table, gas oil ratio, copy, and then paste. The next column is um, specific gravity of all. So back to our Excel, all gravity, copy, and then I'm going to paste. The next is gas Z factor. So that's going to be this column. Once again, copy and paste in WinProp. Gas formation volume factor. That's the same as BG. Same thing, copy, paste. 
gas specific gravity gas gravity I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste as well the next one is all, all viscosity all viscosity I'm gonna copy and then paste and then our final column is going to be gas viscosity and then paste and then we also want to we also want to include the specific gravity of standard conditions which is given in our word document so oil gravity at standard conditions is 0 0.9164 I'm going to enter that value right here 0 0.9164 all gravity at standard conditions. Next, you want to assign weights to each of the each of the properties that we want to match. So since we have a since we have a heavy oil, the most important properties to ma to match are going to be viscosity and uh, specific gravity. So I'm going to assign a weight of three to all specific gravity and I'm going to assign a weight of 2 to viscosity so basically uh, this just means that WIMPOP is going to prioritize matching specific gravity first followed by all and gas viscosity actually just all viscosity so I'm going to change gas viscosity back to 1 so it's going to prioritize matching specific gravity first followed by all viscosity before it's gonna try to match the rest of them um, next you want to put in the reservoir temperature which is 165 so on top where it says temperature just put in 165 which is our reservoir temperature now the next thing I want to do is for regression to be done by WinProp, we need to select what parameters WinProp should change during the regression. So that is what is WinProp going to change in our fluid model to make it match our experiment. So if you click on regression parameters again, so regression param you click on regression parameters. Since um, from CO2 to C23. We're already um, in the WinProp library. It makes sense to um, regress the parameters for C24 plus because we defined this component by ourselves. So I'm just gonna um, click on each box by C24 plus. So that's basically telling WinProp to change that it can change any of these properties for C24 plus. I'm going to um, select the boxes for all the parameters. Next, I'm going to go to interaction coefficients. And in this case, I'm going to check all the boxes for C20 and above. For C20 and above. So basically, this is um, letting WinProp know that it can change um, the interaction coefficient between C20 and CO2, C20 and nitrogen, C21 and CO2, and so on and so forth. Next, I'm going to go to the viscosity parameters tab on top. And then, in this case, I'm going to say that CM, that WinProp can change any of these values. I'm just going to select all the boxes for all the parameters under viscosity. 
Next, I'm going to go to regression controls. So I'm going to go to the regression controls tab. And this is this basically sets how good of a match you want WinProp to produce. So let's just say we want our tolerance to be convergence tolerance to be one e minus twenty. So that's high accuracy. I'm going to say the maximum number of iterations that we would like is two thousand. And I'm going to say the number of simultaneous regression parameters to change is. 20 and then you can save next we want to um, create a two-phase envelope to enable us to determine the bubble point of our reservoir fluid so you go to regression parameters and right right click click on add after click on calculations and then select two phase envelope so regression parameters add after calculations and then two phase envelope so you select that and then you can leave everything as is next we're gonna in order for us to be able to export a fluid model to um, other CMG applications, we're going to have to um, create an output file that is compatible with other CMG programs. So to do that, we're going to right click on two phase envelope, click on add after, click on simulator PVT, and then click on black all PVT data. So basically, this is going to create a fluid model that can be exported into any CMG black oil simulator. I'm going to click on black oil PVT data and then in the tab that comes up I'm going to leave everything as is except from under calculation of all properties above saturation pressure. I'm going to um, check the third box which says um, use a extrapolate to a certain order. I'm going to extrapolate to order 3. So basically, above the bubble point, CM, um, WinProp is just going to extrapolate from points below the bubble point. And the extrapolation is going to be done to the order of 3. So click on the third box and make extrapolation order 3. Next, we're going to go to saturation to the saturation pressure tab on top. So click on saturation pressure on top. And then under temperature, I'm going to enter 165. Under saturation pressure estimate, I'm going to enter 1550, which is what we were given. And then I'm going to check the improved saturation pressure estimate tab. And then under pressure levels, so basically this is where you determine what pressure, at what pressure your output is going to be. So at what pressure do you want CMG to give you formation volume factors for? Click on Tools, click on Insert Row. The first pressure we want is um, standard pressure, so that's 14.5. The next one is 500. And then we're just going to go all the way to 6,000 by increments of 500. And the reason why we're going to go up to 6,000 is because that's the maximum pressure we ever expect to see in the reservoir because the maximum um, injection pressure is set to about 5500 psi so we don't expect to ever see pressures above close to 6000 so I'm just gonna um, insert 
rows all the way to 6,000. Click on tools, insert row, and just enter values. Tools, insert row, 4,500. 5,000, 5,500, and then finally, 6,000. Next, we're going to go to the Water Properties tab. So you click on Water Properties, and then under Reference Pressure, I'm going to enter our reservoir pressure, which is 4,700 PSI. Under formation volume factor at reference pressure, I'm going to enter the water formation volume factor, which is 1.0245. Under um, water compressibility, I'm going to enter um, 3.187. E to the negative six. So that's three point. I don't think I copied correctly, so I'm going to go back to I'm going to paste again. I'm just going to enter manually. So three point one eight four E to the negative. Six, and then the viscosity at reference pr pressure is one centipoise, and our water density is sixty-two point four. So back to wind prop, um, this is one for viscosity of water, and our density is sixty-two point four. So now I'm going to save. I'm going to go to all properties. I'm not going to change anything. The same for gas. I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm going to save this again. And then I'm going to run. Um, so now if you go to de desktop, if you go to our desktop, um, you can see that you can see that WinProp has created a couple of files from our fluid model file. So we have fluid model IMX, a fluid model OUT file, and a couple of other fluid model files. Fluid model IMX is, is the file that we are going to import into um, CMG IMX Builder when we start um, developing our reservoir. Yeah, but back to WinProp, uh, we can look at some plots, like our PT plot. And then using this curve, for example, um, if you go all the way up from about 165, that's like around here, um, you can determine the exact bubble point of, of the reservoir. And... Yeah, that's it.